Hello guys, this is Bill Cable back with another video and today it's just a nice little gameplay of me taking down the whole of Dr. Terror 1-7 to and I actually no lose no troops and they're unboosted so this basically shows you the potential of this strategy. Now the real meaning of this video is basically me talking to you guys about some ideas that I think would be pretty good if they got added into Boom Beach. Now obviously I have not completely analysed these and I don't know if these will break the game, I don't know if it, there's a reason why they haven't added them, but this is just some ideas and there's it, 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 not really much, well there's not really, there's not really any downside to me saying them, it's just a good idea. So basically, here we go. These are in no particular order here as well, um, and I'm just going to be rambling on about each one as we go along, so let's, let's just get stuck in. So I think maybe a good idea would be customization. Now some sort of customization feature would be really good because it it's a bit plain Boom Beach um, in terms of like people's base. Yes, you get base layouts, but um, it feels a bit samey. Um, maybe some different um, biomes. When I mean biome, I mean different like, um, for example, it could be a volcano base. It could be a snow base. It could be a it could be a really a spring sort of summary base, it could be anything and you guys actually get to choose that, so that'd be just something like that. Uh, maybe some flags, a flag, you have a like a, almost like an island flag and you can design that yourself, almost the same way as you design your task force logo, something like that would be pretty cool as well. Um, some sort of colour changes maybe, so obviously everybody's base when you attack is red and when people attack you are red, so maybe you could custom it completely. Uh, lose the feature and you could completely make it any color you want which would be really really cool and a little bit more of a, a bit personalization feature as well um right um let's go on to the next one that's really all you can do customization wise you could add anything you could add skins in but i think they eliminated the skin feature i mean that's a really 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 big job to add skins in for every single um, troop because they were I think they were talking about um, just trying to get a different like looking uh, building for every single level so never mind skins for each, for each level which would be pretty pretty hard so we'll just eliminate that one right on to, on to number two now and these are yeah as I said these are not in any order but a new troop now everyone likes a new troop so this is obviously going to be coming up anyway um, so I've just got a few suggestions for troops, um, obviously the mechanics and their health and all that could could obviously be decided by any, any way they want, but I think a shock troop would be pretty cool, uh, maybe a shock tank, um, so that would obviously be slow, slow movement speed, high health, um, but it, it wouldn't do much damage, it would just stop um, towers from maybe being able to attack would be pretty cool so you wouldn't be able to have a, an army of shock tanks because well obviously or shock shock troopers or whatever because obviously they wouldn't take much things out because they don't have much high damage so i think that'd be pretty good pretty good uh, idea we could have a flame troop almost like the scorchers work and um, where they have afterburn effect that'd be pretty cool sort of flamethrower troop maybe mid-range now really, really close range but they have quite a big health that'd be pretty cool like a heavy Almost like a flaming heavy. That'd be pretty cool. Um, a shock, tr a shield troop. Sorry. Now I thought about this, and I think it's a pretty good idea. And it, it's it's like it's got a mini shield generator on its back, and it shoots out with like a cannon, and it shoots like it, it's almost like a. It's, it holds a beam. It, it holds a beam at a troop, and that has higher health. That Pacific troop, and you can maybe have a group of three uh, in a boat, and I think it'd be pretty cool if you have like a tank shield troop use the shield troops with a tank and you could have like an ultimate tank it'd be so cool and i think it'd just be a good idea into the game also another idea for a troop would be a general some sort of general figure and um, where basically when the troops are around this general it bumps up their attack speed or it, it doesn't do any damage at all it doesn't do any it maybe has a pistol and it does really weak damage but it, it can also have moderate health but it actually boosts up the troops around it so it's almost like a medic but it chucks like um power and stuff i don't really know so it's, it's, it's an okay idea i mean but you know it's it's not bad so um we've got number three now number three is something that's probably might some people might not even care about or think it's important at all. Now I though it's more stats. Now everyone some well I especially like more leaderboards and stuff just to make the game more competitive. Now you could have um like 
when you click on their player card, you would see all of these stats here. Um, so that's statistics. Um, so you get like win win loss ratio. So that's how many times you've won win and lost between attacks. Your base, how many bases you've destroyed, how many times your base has been destroyed. You could have intel gathered, total intel gathered. You could have best um, troop combo use your favorite troop combo um and you could have like different events success rates and stuff like that so how many times you can defeat hammermen how many stages have you defeated all these sort of things that are really cool to show other players and see um how long and also t how long you've played the game um when and this would also show if you were online or not that's another really good feature if you're actually online so you can see on your little player card this would be creating a player card and you can see if you're online and stuff like that and when you were last online, this would be really good for task forces as well to see if players are online or and when they were last online. Um, also, as well, this is nothing to do with this, but this I'm not. I didn't want to add it as an actual feature, as an actual suggestion, because it takes up quite a big slot. But um, it's just a little feature. I think task force leaders or task force officers should be able to send one notification to lower members to to tell them. Um, you need to attack. You know, it's, it goes on their phone when their phone's like blank, when their phone's off. It would send a notification. Now, you obviously can't spam this. You may be only be able to send this once every hour or something like that. So that's another really good feature. But let's go on with that. Was stage that was stage two? So stage three. Um, now stage three. This is a highly debated one. I think I just thought of this not that long ago and it sounds like a really good idea but I don't know if it would work or not. Now basically it's another, it could fit in with the customization um, category but I'm just going to leave it on its own and it's different base island designs. Now what I mean by that is different shapes. Now if you didn't, if you didn't play the mega crab you notice that the, the mega crabs like had like tiles which was dropped so therefore you could have like any shape of base that they well that the creators created could be like an L shape. It could be, I mean, it, you could actually make it and you could make it a big, massive, long shape. So you're in theory changing the a layout of the island, the shape of the actual island that you, you can place your buildings on. Now I think that would be really cool, and it would actually introduce a whole new feature in the base building designs. Now, I think that would be so cool. Um, so you could have a really long, thin base, you could have a, a small, squidged-in base, you could have a sort of L-shaped base, you could have a X-shaped base, you could have anything. But you obviously are limited to how much how you use your space, but you have a specific amount of squares you can place. I think it would be a really good idea, but obviously some people might exploit it, and it's just a big, big task, but that's just an idea, and I think it was a really, really good one. Now with the last idea here, this is a this is actually the uh, this is the fourth one. I only actually thought of four. Um, I thought of a lot more, but some of them I just thought mm, I don't think they'll work. And I've looked on the 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 page on the forums, and a lot of them have been crossed off as well. And um, this is basically the main one, and this is the one that I think that they they need to implement. It's also a change and it's a new thing. So basically I want a new statue. Now this could be any colour you want. I, I just said yellow. A new yellow statue and this can do whatever. Um, I, my ideas are basically you could increase the troop speed. Um, that, whether, whether that's attack speed or walks, walking speed. Um, yeah, that, that's, that's, uh, that's the, really the only thing that you could really do. I was thinking of a lot of other ideas, but obviously the creators will have a lot under their belt, and the community could easily think of a few things. I mean, people suggested like Intel. I mean, no one's going to ever place that. No one will ever place an Intel statue, so that we can throw that one out the window. Um, just a lot of different things. We've got the troop. We've got troop health. We've got. You could maybe do the range, but range would seriously get exploited. If imagine everyone put an attack range statue down. I mean. You would just grab, I mean, you could lay your grenades on the beach and they'd be able to ch chuck the whole map. I mean, people would be using sniper tanks and stuff like that. It would just be so silly having a ranged troop. Attack speed, maybe, actually, the, the attack speed, I could think of ways. When you're thinking of a new statue, you actually have to really think how you could exploit that. 
Now, obviously it's a weird way to think, but think about it. If you have, for example, troop speed, you could just basically, that will also increase the medic's chuck ability. So therefore, the medics will become super powerful and therefore just crazy. So that's what you have to think about when you're thinking about ideas as well. And that's obviously what the troop, the, the team at Supercell think. And it's just a hard topic introducing new things in the game. Everything they've added so far has been beneficial. Um, anything mechanically, anything that changed mechanically is pretty good. And it's a pretty solid game actually. Some games go a bit weird and, and they start adding things and it just doesn't work. It sounds like a good idea but it, it can break the game. Now, it's just, that's all the ideas I've got. So if you guys have got any ideas, let me know in the comment section. It's been quite a long video actually. I've been rambling on quite a lot. So... If you've got any ideas, let me know in the comment section. That's pretty much it for the video. Like this video up if you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.